organic artifact conservation section of the conservation department of the British Museum. At the moment we're working on some ivories from Afghanistan. They're particularly fragile, they're in a very deteriorated state and we are actually having to clean them and stabilise them um, for the exhibition. The ivory plaques that we're conserving at the moment were originally attached to wooden furniture that was probably made in India in the first century AD and then transported to Afghanistan where it was subsequently buried and then it was excavated again in the 1930s and went to the National Museum in Kabul. It disappeared from the National Museum again during the unrest and the first we knew about these objects was when they re-emerged at the end of 2010. A private individual wished to see them restored to the National Museum in Kabul and the British Museum became involved as part of that process of returning them to the museum. When I first received this object called Playful Lion there were pieces in the centre which really didn't appear to belong to it. Here we have a picture of what it was like when I received it and if you see in the centre there are these two pieces of ivory which don't really line up with anything, They're, they just don't fit there, the wrong colour, the wrong shape. And I took the pieces out and had a close look at them and this lower piece actually um, has some markings on it and it appeared to be surface when I looked at it closely on the microscope, I realised that it actually tied in with the lines here, the lines here. And when I put it there, I found that it was actually part of the lion's paw. And below that, there was another piece of ivory, which was another piece of the paw. And so altogether, we managed to get the rest of the paw. You can see that this piece, these pieces have been taken out, and they are now fitted into here, where the paw is basically got the whole of the lion's paw back. These ivory clerks have, um, have suffered a bit. I mean, they're a couple of thousand years old. And although ivory can be preserved very well, ivory that's been buried can, can suffer. So it's been a delicate job to conserve these for display and also to make them in a condition where they're stable enough to be transported uh, back to Afghanistan.